Hi, my name is Damien from Above and Beyond, and I'm going to be showing you how to create some options. Uh, that means options are like size, color, um, different attributes that you would assign to a product. Say these slippers are a prime example. They come in um, sizes two, three, and four. So we're going to set this up to allow the user to choose those options when they're checking out on Big Commerce. So when you log into your back end, of big commerce you want to go to products and then you want to select product options now you first you have option sets and options so options go inside of option sets so when you so first you want to click the options tab and create your options first so we're going to create an option called size we could call this Slipper size, um, just in case we're going to create a few different sizes, like later on we may have t-shirt size, um, pants size, dress size. So this option name is just for our reference. What the display name is, is shown on the front end of the website. So we'll just make that size. It will select multiple choice and go next. Now, all we need to do is punch in the different options. So say if it's um, sizes two, we'll have a look at the back end when uh, we've got sizes two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll just go two, then the plus symbol, three, plus, four, and we'll go five, I'll just go up to eight, six, seven, eight. You can edit this later, but I'll press save. Now what you want to do is create an option set. So an option set would be used for, say if there were multiple options that needed to be applied to a product, and having them in a set makes it easier for you to roll out that those options onto multiple products at once. So what we're going to do is just create an option set called um, slipper option set. And we're going to add the available options. Is we've only got one in there. We'll select add. Now that's been added. If you scroll down, if you click edit, you can actually choose which of these sizes are going to be available for the slippers. So we only want two, three, and four. So we'll untick the rest. We can use them later for other things. But we'll go save and close. And we click save and exit. So now that you have your option set created, you want to go to your products and you want to apply that option set to the product. So we're going to search for slipper. All right, we have two slippers here. So we're going to tick these two boxes to select those items and select apply option set. Click OK and go. Select the option set you want to apply. We'll check the one that we've just made and go next. I understand it's going to exist. Yes, yes, yes. Next. Finish. Right, so now those option sets have been applied to these two products. What we can do is reload this page and you'll see sizes two, three, and four are available. Now say if you want to do elaborate a little bit and say like three to six months of age, 12, six to 12 months, we can go back to products, product options. We can go to the options tab, click edit, click next. And in here we'll type in, what is it? three to six months of age. Fix that up. What's the other one? Six to 12 months. Twelve to 18. No, I'll just leave of age off. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right, click save. Now, when we go and reload this page, 
There you go. So when they add that to the cart, it has the Peter Rabbit slippers and in, in as sizes four, 12 to 18 months. So it lets the user know which option they've selected and it's in the cart now. And uh, that is pretty much an overview. If you wanted to add like size, I'll give you another example. So we can create another option called color, sorry. Um, slip of color. Right. We can turn it into a swatch if you like, as they're good for colors. You can include it in this option set already. So we go next. And we can have blue. Let me select blue. Right. And press plus, pink. Select pink, red. Very exciting. <laughs> red. And then click save. Now, when we go, because we've already added it to that option set, it'll automatically be applied to these products. Right? It says none, so let me just check that. Maybe we made a mistake. Uh, it's because if we go back to product options in the set, when you're in here, option sets, if you edit the set and see how it's got, if you scroll down, this one has a red asterisk. You need to make, if you want to make it required, you have to tick this box. Click save and exit. Save and exit. And then if we reload this, and the none will be gone. And they must choose those options before checking out. Anyway, that's how you set up product options. And I hope this has been helpful. Um, for any questions, you can email support at avpages.com or visit support.avpages.com. And there's a knowledge base there. Thanks very much.